And welcome once again, my friend, to part four, the final part of Testaments, The New Order. As you can see, we are reviewing the guitar solo for this song. And it's a little bit of a doozy, but a fun one to play nonetheless. So to begin with, it starts off with this. And all that that is, is pretty much bending the 15th fret on the second string, which is a D up to an E. It's a full bend. Because that E is the 17th fret second string. So you bend up two times, and then after that it goes into an E minor arpeggio. So it goes all the way up here, and I am all the way up to the 19th fret, 5th string, and I do this pattern. And what that is, is basically E minor pattern. So, as I said, the 19th fret on the 5th string, 17th fret on the 4th string, 16th fret on the 3rd string, uh, 17th fret again on the 2nd string, to the 15th fret 1st string, to the 19th fret 1st string. And then you repeat it going back down. And then it repeats one more time. And it ends with a slight chromatic run. So what that is is 19th 18th, 17th fret, 1st string, ending on the 15th fret, 1st string. And then you go 17th fret to 15th fret, 2nd string. So that's basically how that goes. And then it goes up to this note. So it's a full bend. So what that is, that's the 20th fret, 2nd string, and bend it up to this note, which is the 22nd fret. So you bend it up, then you bring it back. Okay, so let's start the solo again. Okay, now we do, which is to what I would consider probably the most challenging part of this solo is a series of arpeggios. You start with... Okay, so what the hell is that? Okay, that right there is... That's a C major arpeggio, except you're starting it on the uh, G. So, so C, E, and G are the three notes in a C major arpeggio, C major chord. And you start from the G up on the 15th fret, 1st string. So you go 15, 12 to 13th fret on the 2nd string. Back to the 12th fret on the 3rd string. Then you go down from the 12th fret on the 3rd string to the 14th fret on the 4th string. Then you end on the 15th fret, 5th string. And you do these in what's called sweep patterns. So, so a sweep is like that. So you basically take the pick. It's like you're sweeping the pick over multiple strings. So, and then it actually goes further. It goes down to the 15th fret 6th string to the 12th fret 6th uh, string, back up to the 15th fret again on the 6th string. So, And then you're going to go so back all the way up until you stop on the 13th fret 2nd string. Okay, so that is 
the suite pattern for the C major arpeggio. And now you do this arpeggio. Now that right there is, that's an E minor arpeggio, just like, except you're doing, okay. So the way that that's done is, so you do um, the 17th fret on the first string. I use my fourth finger for that. And I go to the 12th fret first string, but be careful here because I, if you do it like this, it's not gonna sound very clean or it's gonna be harder to do. So what I try to do is try to bar my first finger on the 12th fret. So, so you can see me going into that sweep motion. And then I go, so I'm on the 12th fret, second and third string. And then from there, Like I said, this is probably the most challenging part of this solo. Um, I sweep the from the 14th fret, 4th string to the 14th fret, 5th string. And then I do that 15th fret to the 12th fret, back up to the 15th fret on the 6th string. And then when I come back, sweep back up. Okay, so I'm doing 14th fret, 5th string, then 4th string, 1st fret on the 3rd string, 2nd string, 12th fret. So, so take those slowly, making sure that, don't worry about how fast you're doing it, just making sure that you're getting the notes even and you're getting them clear. Okay, so then after doing that, Okay, so what that is, 15th to 14th to 12th fret, first string. Then, and the 12th fret, first string again. So that's 12th fret to the 15th fret, second string, 12th fret, second string. And then you bend the 14th fret, third string, burn it up maybe a half step, and then bring it back. And the 12th fret, back to the 14th fret, third string. And then this. So you go down to the 14th fret, fifth string. So you're on the 14th fret, 16th fret, 17th fret. 16th fret, 14th fret, 12th back to 14th fret, all on the 4th string. And when he hits this again, you can hear me, I'm doing an artificial, what's called an artificial harmonic, so I'm actually pinching the note. Okay, I don't have a ton of gain, so it's a little harder for me to get that up. Okay. So, after that, you do a scale run starting on the ninth fret, fourth string. So it's nine, ten, twelve, nine. And repeat that again. So nine, ten, twelve, then the ninth fret on the third string. 12, 10 on the fourth string, then back to. And this is 9, 11, 12 on the third string. And then it moves up here. So you have 11, 12, 14th fret on the third string to the 12th fret, second string. 14, 12, 11. So similar pattern to this one, but you're up here. Then 12, 13, 15th fret on the second string. And then from there, you go up to, all the way up to the 20th fret, second string. So 
So 20, 17, 19, 20, and then to the 17th fret, first string. Okay? And from there, so you do half bend on the 19th fret, second string. To the 17th fret, to the 15th fret, and then two times hitting that 17th fret. Then you do this run. So that's 20, 19, 17. Then 19, 17 to 19th on the third string. Back up to 17, 19 on the third string to 17 on the third string. And then it repeats these uh, notes again. Actually, I'm sorry. It goes, the second time it goes, the half bend, then the 15th fret to the 17th fret. So the first time it goes, now, then from there it does another one of those E minor licks starting on the 19th fret, this string. So it goes up from so it goes 19 to the 15th fret on the first string to the 17th fret on the second string to the 20th fret on the first string 15 then 17 second string So when it goes back here to the 19th fret, 15th, 17th, then it ends on the 16th fret, third string. And then you do these bends again. So half bend again on the 19th fret, second string, 15th fret to 17th fret. And then you do another scalar pattern. Okay, so what that basically is, it's this pattern here, 12, 14, 15 fret on the 6th string, then 14, 15, 17 also on the 6th string, and then you actually go an octave higher of the same thing. So starting on the 14th fret, 4th string, 14, 16, 17, 16, 17, 19. You can hear it's the same notes. Then it goes up here again. So you have that half bend on the 19th fret second string. And then you hit the 19th fret again on the third string. And then two times of that 17th fret on the second string. Okay, so let's see. So. Okay, now we're getting close to the end of this. So we're holding this note, and then from there we go to this bend. So it's a full bend, the 17th up to the 19th fret. Then you go up to the 19th fret, do another full bend. Then you go up to the 20th fret, second string. So you do a full bend, bring it out, and then you just Hit the 19th fret after that. Okay, and now you're going to do a sequence of some more arpeggios, but just on the top two strings. So, so that's once again going off the E minor. So I'm going 19th fret, 15th fret, to the 17th fret, second string. Then I'm going back up to the 15th fret, to the 17th fret, second string that I'm ending on the 12th fret on the second string and you know you can do it like instead of doing the 12th fret on the second string you can do the 16th fret on the third string 
I can't quite play it as smooth going to the 16th fret as I can the 12th. So that's just what I do, but if this works, feel free to do that instead. So what I'm doing, so I do that four times, and then I go up to, which is a diminished run, and I'm going from the 18th fret, no, that's the 20th fret to the 17th fret on the first string, to the 19th fret on the second string, then back up to 17th fret, to the 19th fret, to the 16th fret on the second string. Then I go back to the E minor again, four times, and then to conclude the solo, it's another diminished run, only much longer than the other. So basically that's going from 17th to the 14th fret on the first string, ending on the 16th fret second string. It's three notes, then back up here. 14, 16 on the second to 17 on the third, then 16 on the second to 17 on the third to 14 on the third, then 17 to 14 on the third, ending on 16 on the fourth. So, and then you go up 14 to 16 to 13 on the fourth string, then uh, 16, 13, then 14 on the fifth string. No, I'm sorry. 15 on the fifth string. So. And then you go 13 to 15 to 12. And then you end on. Or you could do it that way too. Part of the reason why I'm ending by going from 15 to 12 to 9th fret on the 5th string is because if you're playing this, the very next part is... So you got to go all the way down to the 1st fret. So it's all your choice if you want to end up here and then I'll go all the way down, that's fine. I just feel that if I end on the 9th fret, 5th string, I got 8 frets to go instead of 14 frets to go to get to that position. So, basically that's how it concludes, and thank you very much. I watched a video not too long ago of Alex Skolnick, the lead guitarist of Testament, playing that solo like this, without missing a single note. It's just simply amazing. In any case, if you like the contents of my video, please select the like icon down below. Feel free to leave a comment. And please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.